trigger rate. What is it? How can I help you understand it? Let's jump into it. If you've seen me before, I'm a mortgage agent practicing in Ontario, Canada, and this is my life. I love it. Off the jump, if you are in a fixed rate mortgage product, you can keep on scrolling. This does not directly apply to you, but if you want to stay and watch the video for your future knowledge, be my guest. So for starters, trigger rates happen and apply to variable rate mortgage products. In that category, there are two products, your adjustable rate mortgage and your variable rate mortgage. Now, the difference between these two is the following. In an adjustable rate mortgage, as the lender's prime rate decides to go up or go down, your payment actually increases or decreases with that change. In a variable rate mortgage product, your payment stays consistent. It doesn't matter if the payment go, uh, the lender rate goes up or it goes down. This is where things start to get tricky. They get tricky because although the payment stays the same, in that payment, you have your principal and you have your interest, which is what makes up a good portion of the mortgage payment. The allocation of those funds are what changes. And essentially, when the rates get too high and you get to that trigger rate, you're not actually paying down enough towards your mortgage. And by direct term, a trigger rate means your payments are no longer covering any of the principal you're to be paying back to the lender. They are now interest only payments. So what do you do in this situation? Well, we have a few options. You can call your lender, your bank, or your mortgage company that you're dealing with, ask them to increase your payments. You can make a lump sum payment on top of that. You can switch into a fixed product so you don't have to worry about any additional funds needing to be taken out later on to cover that principal. Or come and talk to one of your mortgage agents, brokers, myself, and we're happy to help to get through these tough times and what this situation is and what it can mean for you and the future of your current mortgage or any current products that you want to look into. Every person has a different trigger rate and it is important to plan accordingly for your future, for the now and for the tomorrow. Please stay educated, keep on top of the news or reach out to myself or any individual that you trust and I'm sure we, they are more than happy to talk to and at least I know that I am. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.